Shot in the head and still alive. Tonight, family and friends raised money for the victim of a violent crime spree as he makes great strides in his remarkable recovery. Will Barton was one of two people who were shot during a Bonnie and Clyde style crime spree last year. Tonight, dozens went to 57 degrees in Mission Hills to pledge their support to his continued inspirational recovery. News 8 Steve Price was there as well. The bullets hit Will Barton in the head, throat, and shoulder. The damage to his skull and brain was so extensive that uh, in neurosurgery, we consider this type of injury to be unsurvivable. Dr. Vikram Udani was the on-call neurosurgeon at Scripps Mercy Hospital that morning, October 29, 2012. We took the surgery, we removed uh, fragments of bullet, uh, we removed fractured pieces of his skull, uh, we removed injured areas of his brain. There was a large blood clot that is formed from the bullet as well. We removed that, we stopped the bleeding, and we took off a big piece of Will's skull to decompress his brain and let it swell uh, because it was already starting to swell by the time he got to us. Dr. Udani thought even if Will does survive, he'll never get off a ventilator. But here's Will today at a fundraiser near Lindbergh Field where the 21-year-old's recovery has been taking off. It wasn't my time. I have a lot more to do. And I knew that in the moment. And I know it now. And I'll continue to strive to be a better person, help everyone. Will was shot by Philip Hernandez, a former Cal firefighter who went on a shooting spree with his wife, Cindy Garcia. Hernandez, who was later killed by police, apparently shot Will because he looked like a police officer who was reportedly looking for him. Garcia is behind bars facing several charges that could get her life in prison. Today's fundraiser took in over $25,000 to help with Will's recovery. He can't thank his friends enough for being there, including the day he woke up at the hospital. It's like Christmas morning, like seeing all your presents, you know? Steve Price, News 8. Cindy Garcia, meantime, is set to go to trial in October.